Hildegard Nocton, the United Nations is saying the terms of reference must be widened. Uh, survivors are saying the terms of reference must be widened. Why won't the government widen the terms of reference? Well, I think they certainly um, took steps today to do that. And first of all, I think our first priority has to be the children whose remains are lying in places like Tume and the mothers who are in these institutions, that they get the due respect, dignity and compassion that they don't appear to have received um, in the past. Um, and people need answers and they need some kind of closure on this. And today in Cabinet they agreed to carry out a scoping exercise with regard to looking at the potential to widen the terms of reference of this, of this Commission. And it's important as well not to preempt the outcome of this Commission which is due in February. So yes, we need answers. Uh, it's a horrific story. Um, and I would agree that I don't think many of us were very surprised uh, over the last week to hear this news. This had come out back in 2015 um, and it was shocking news. But we need, to, we need to deal with these dark periods of our history and to make sure that um, it doesn't happen again. We need answers, as you say, and the Taoiseach mm -hmm. said that in the Dáil today. Um, the Minister for Children, Catherine Zappone, has had an interim report from the Commission for six months mm -hmm. and it hasn't been published yet. Mm -hmm. Why on earth? has not been published after six months? The interim report hasn't been finalised. I know that it's been worked on at a uh, senior departmental level and I have no doubt that Minister Zappone will publish that the same way she published the um, <coughs> initial report last Friday in the same compassionate and dignified way and I know that she takes this very seriously. We want answers as much as anybody else but there's a process there and I have, we, we want, as I say, we, we, want to, we want the findings, we want people, families, mm. siblings like we heard there in your VT but there is a process here and we need to make sure that it's done in a timely manner as well. Well six months isn't a timely manner to finalise a report and with respect um, I think Catherine Zabone has been widely praised including by mm. Catherine Corliss for the manner in which she published um, the report on Friday and it seems that the problem is that she's trying to get other departments to sign off on, on the publication of the report yes. so is it her cabinet colleagues that are causing the no, difficulty? No, the, the report has been worked on at the moment there is no issues that I'm aware of and Minister Zabone will publishes. I think she has a very good record in this area to date. Uh, she's very um, committed to this issue and I've no doubt that she will publish it in, in due course. Yes. And in the meantime, the Commission has to continue <coughs> with its work um, and I think the initial findings on Friday are a good indication yes. of where we're going with yeah, this. Ma 